Welcome to the Corolla Nation, where passion meets performance and the love for the road unites us all. Get ready to embark on a journey with the legendary Toyota Corolla and fellow enthusiasts who share the same zeal for the ultimate driving experience. Uh, Corolla Nation is a two-year-old uh, Corolla club which was basically formed in the year 2021 uh, on the 2nd of August. Uh, as of now, uh, our objective, was, as I said, it, was, it is a group of Corolla enthusiasts. We have, we have been able to make people realize the, the capabilities of Corollas and people have come up and modded them, as you can see here. Uh, our membership has, has, has grown. Uh, when we started, we were only two members, myself, myself and my uh, co-founder Adnan. On our first meet, which was on 22nd of August 2021, uh, only three more cars appeared, which, which brought our membership to five. But as of now, two years later, we have around 130 members, and we also have a category for Corolla affiliates. Those people who are affiliated with Corolla Nation, they love our passion, but they don't have Corollas. Uh, as of, okay, uh, membership of affiliates, the affiliates, as of now, I can say is around 20, 20 members. We have one of us here, and uh, it's, it's, it's been a good opportunity to, for them uh, to, to, to join us and share our passion. In the heart of Corolla Nation Club beats the rhythm of iconic Corolla, a symbol of reliability, innovation and driving excellence. Where you own a classic AE86 or the latest model, you are part of a legacy that spans generations. Uh, we participate in a number of events, uh, being charity drives, uh, fun drives, and local meetups, mostly in Nairobi. Uh, we have a calendar, we, we come up with a calendar every year. Having a Corolla, as of now, the the, there's basically different experiences with owning one. For example, there are some of us who have built Corollas as projectors, uh, project cars, others, others have built them for aesthetics and looks, uh, others have built them for music. Yeah. So basically as a project car, uh, you can focus on the engine, definitely not be reliable for a day-to-day -day activity, day-to-day yeah? -day use. But generally a Corolla is a most of them come with a... It, okay, a Corolla came as, a, as an economical car. So most of them are reliable for day-to-day -day use. Their parts are really easily available, uh, easy, to, easy to fix. Picture this. Rolling into a meet, surrounded by a sea of Corollas, each one with its unique style and character. The camaraderie among Corolla Nation members is unmatched. It's more than a car club, it's a family, a community that celebrates the love for the open road. To become a member, you need to, you need to participate in one of our events. Members are added, to, are added during events. Okay, Corolla basically, I'm going to be a car, 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 especially for the wagon types. Yeah, to be a part of the but. It's passion that drives us. We are at a turn down as of now we have gained popularity. So far we have been running for two years. And the growth within the growth within these two years is, has been I can I might say overwhelming because we didn't expect so much members in a, in that such a small period. Of course we didn't expect to, to gain so much popularity within that period. But uh, we are trying to, make, to work dynamics uh, that will help us run in the next coming years. Corolla Nation isn't just about cars. It's about the journeys we take together, from scenic drives along coastal roads to conquering mountain passes. Our club organizes unforgettable road trips that make every mile memorable. Hi, Team Wills. My name is Adnan Shiraz. I'm an admin and co-founder of Corolla Nation. 
Uh, well, today I just want to speak about a little bit about Corolla Nation and the events. We have got to know about what we have done over the past few uh, two years of our presence. And our presence, I might say, has made a big impact uh, in terms of the growth of the group, which has been already spoken about by Charles. Uh, all I want to speak today about is our events. So generally, towards the end of the year, uh, that is around December, we have a calendar made in preparation for the next year. So, for example, like this year, we had a couple of pl events planned. And mind you, these all events are not just for fun, for leisure. These events are also for charity. Uh, we also want to support the people around us, make an impact in the nation. It's not only about the cars, it's about the family. I mean, I always say this, but Corolla Nation is a family outside of home. So it really is uh, a pleasure seeing the people out there supporting what we do. So in this year, we've done a couple of events. Uh, one that I would want to highlight is one that was uh, quite recent. We had gone to uh, Mombasa. So we had uh, made, dubbed that uh, event as Pony Experience. Well, it was an experience on its own. Aside from the drive itself, uh, the togetherness of the people, and when we reached actually the, the, the coast, we actually explored quite a bit. So we made an impact there as well. Wherever we go, we try to make noise. We always like to be seen. And looking at these cars, you can't miss us. I actually have a love for these cars. In fact, mine is a 110. It's been in the family for about close to 15 years now. It was actually my, my parents' car. And uh, around close to five years ago, uh, it was given to me. So then is when I started the journey of actually building my Corolla. So I have an attachment to that car. And uh, while Corolla Nation started, we didn't believe that maybe other people out there might have this connection with their cars. But it really is amazing seeing the, the connection people have with their cars and their bills and the crazy things they're doing to them. Not all of the cars you see here today or you might see on the road are the dailies. They do crazy swaps. You'll see uh, a two-liter turbo in a Corolla. You'd, you'd expect a 1.3, 1.5, 5 AFE. But guys go out there and actually do a 3 SGT, make an engine that doesn't even exist. They put two or three parts together, make an engine that doesn't exist. So. People do crazy things out there, and it's, it's quite amazing. We have a couple of trusted uh, parties in that end. In our group, we have a couple of people who do body work, uh, others who do mechanical. One thing we like to do is keep it in the family. We uh, support our own. So in the group, you'd find the people who do the body works, we give them majority of our works. I mean, we try to support them in that way. We also have parts suppliers, people who own businesses. They can be able to source in ex-Japan parts and all that. And they're not exactly new cars, so getting new parts uh, is quite a hassle. Throughout the year, Corolla Nation hosts a variety of events, from car shows to track days. These gatherings are the perfect opportunity to showcase your Corolla, swap stories with like-minded enthusiasts, and be part of a community that shares your passion. For next year, uh, the plans are in the works, but we would not like to share anything as of now. We like to share it towards the end of the year uh, to make people prepared and actually in, anticip in anticipation for the next uh, year's events. So throughout the year, we have mostly drives. We don't really focus on meetups because we find that people, our members actually do like those drives, those long drives. They like to experience their cars. At any given time, we'd go for a trip that is upwards of even a thousand kilometers plus. So in a year, we would have, uh, in the first three months, we'd focus on having at least one or two drives. So throughout the year, spread, spread out, we'd have close to eight drives. It's just an amazing feeling being behind the wheel. I mean, imagine you cruising down the road with no hassles because you know your car, you've, uh, you've done everything on it. Most of these people who build their cars work on them themselves, on, them, on their own. I mean, you would expect, people actually say out there, well, what were easy Corolla ni what were mechanics, nanini. It's not true. It's just that we understand our cars. And uh, they're easy to work on. I mean, it's, uh, it's crazy what you can do with them. 
Mount Ololokwe. People didn't believe Corollas can reach there, but believe me, we made it. We didn't leave anyone behind. Uh, all the cars were actually checked before the trip, made sure that they're up to standard. We made that drive. Uh, okay, coming back was quite a hassle because we were on a time crunch. We started our trip there back from Ololokwe at around 6 or 7 p.m. because we wanted to get the sunset. I mean, you go to a mountain, you want the sunset. But coming back to, the, to Nairobi, it was, uh, it was an amazing experience. As long as you're with the Corolla Group, Corolla Nation, you're going to enjoy. You don't have a requirement. You just need to appreciate these cars. You don't need to own one. You can be part of us. You can even uh, uh, come to our meetup points if in case we're going for a ride. You'll find one or two members who have some space in the car. Una dandia, nada safari. So even our affiliate members, uh, we support every single type of car aside from the Corolla family. We have different members, people even with uh, different manufacturers, not even Japan, Japanese. Also goes towards German and even uh, Euro cars. But it's not just about cars. It's about celebrating the milestones of our members. Whether it's a first-time owner or someone reaching a significant mileage milestone, Corolla Nation is there to cheer and support each other. Here, meet a Corolla Nation affiliate member, Phoebe Otieno, who shares with us her experience in the club. Hi, Tim Wills. My name is Phoebe. Um, I go by the name Phoebe Otieno Otieno, but my friends call me Phoebs. I am a affiliate member of Corolla Nation and I love it here so much. Um, there are a lot of things that made me uh, be interested in joining Corolla Nation and I am very proud to say that it's the best car group in Kenya. So any car enthusiast or anything can join the club. Um, it's more, I, I love Corolla Nation because it's more of a family than a car group. Uh, we, we do like more of family stuff people who are in a family do and uh, whenever we are together you usually feel like you're in this big family so that's why I love it here and I will do anything to be here and encourage other people to join. So Corolla Nation started because of a few young people who had uh, Corollas and owned them uh, so they started the group because of the love of Corollas so myself I don't own a Corolla I have a Toyota Vitz it runs on a 2NZ FE engine it's a 1300cc uh, two-wheel drive uh, so it's a way 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 different from a Corolla so I am affiliate because I am in the group as a member but yet I don't have a Corolla. So you can, um, I joined the group because I love uh, the, the team and I wanted to join although I didn't have a Corolla and I was allowed in as an affiliate. Being a lady driver is quite, um, I say it's, it's quite nice, but at sometimes it's a bit difficult, especially on a traffic jam. Uh, whenever someone sees it's a lady, they usually want to bully you and stuff like that. Uh, there's a scenario I even had, we were in a, in a traffic jam on the way, and then uh, there's a Matatu guy who was just pushing his way through, and I was in the right lane, but he wanted to push his way through. Then when he came there, his, um, that conductor, he said, Atani <laughs> Dem! So it, I think when they, they feel like we are not that experienced to be on the road or something like that, or maybe we are always learners. My dad was a tour guide and a driver. So his life, all his life, his career was driving. <laughs> so I loved, I, I, I think I picked that from the fact that he was a driver. I, I used to love his driving and I would be very comfortable whenever I'm traveling with my dad. And I used to think actually he's the best driver in the world and I'll be safe whenever my dad, dad is the one driving. So um, when my dad passed away, he had 
just trained my brother to drive and my brother bought a car almost immediately after his uh, dismissed. So from then he's just been building his car pole pole and that's how he joined Corolla Nation. And from there now I felt like he's being in, a, in another family and I wanted to join that family. So I think from there also is, uh, is where I, I get my enthusiasm from, from my brother uh, 50% and from my dad 50%. I did uh, everything here after joining the club because I think the club just encourages people to do things to their car and you don't want to be left behind so you do what you can. So um, I first started with uh, putting Hulk over here. She's she Hulk uh, because my car is green and it's not a guy so I wanted it to be female so it's she Hulk. So uh, the details of pink is because I love pink, it's my favorite color. And now green, I was supposed to be my favorite color because I love the car. <laughs> and so I also have uh, some pink wheels and I have a special passenger princess. So it has a story. Uh, when I started driving one year ago, I was getting very anxious when I am driving. And I, I realize it's because sometimes when I am alone, I feel like I am not, like when I'm, I'm just alone and not with someone, I feel like I'm getting more anxious. So I tried it out and when I have someone like my sister or something, I am comfortable. So I decided, okay, let me have a teddy bear there. So I, I just feel like there's something in my car. <laughs> and it used to help me a lot. Right now I'm okay, but I still don't want to remove it because, yeah, it has a story. Uh, Corolla Nation has been a great, great group for me. It has helped me with a lot of information about cars, about not just my car, but cars in general. So I will encourage any lady out there feeling like um, he ca uh, she can't join a club because she's a lady. Corella Nation is very accommodative. They accommodated me even though I don't have a Corolla or I'm not a guy. So whenever you're in the group, you will feel at home. And it encouraged me to even start uh, with a VIT club East Africa. So shout out to VIT club East, at, uh, um, East Africa. And because of that, um, that shows you that being in a car group is very beneficial, not just for you as a person and, and just having knowledge, also for your spiritual being and being okay because uh, there are many people who told me, I think you're usually okay because of the road trips and things like that. So you can follow Corolla Nation at, um, on Instagram at Corolla Nation and uh, on YouTube, follow our vlogs at Chalel Adventures. Follow, like, share and comment. Corolla Nation members are the driving force behind Corolla Nation. From customized suspensions to turbocharged engines, each Corolla tells a story of dedication and passion. The modifications are as diverse as our members, reflecting the spirit of individuality that defines us. Let's explore these wheels of Toyota Corolla. This is the Corolla A100. Uh, we have uh, slightly modified it to our liking. So it makes it different from the other Corollas that you would see. So Ukianza with different parts of the cars. For example, we can start with the outside. Well, Ukiangale Ukumbele, these lights are dark housing lights. They have uh, custom projectors and DRLs done by Eagle Lights and uh, as well as a BZ Touring grill, a mesh grill. This is an L Touring bumper. So this is not the standard Corolla A100 bumper. Uh, this is a, a Corolla uh, L Touring bumper, as well as fog lights. And uh, we've got a custom lip as well made out of fiberglass. So that's all for the front. We can move to the side here. We've got uh, 
16 inch uh, rims wrapped around with Zestino tires. So these are kind of semi slicks. These do quite well on uh, during track days. I mean, this isn't exactly a track car, but uh, it does perform very well on uh, the roads as far as handling is concerned and grip. Uh, we can also start with uh, the side skirts here. These ones are also custom fitted onto this car. This car originally did not come with these uh, side skirts. Uh, when we go to the back here, you can also notice uh, disc brakes. So this car was originally an SE saloon. Uh, it had drum brakes on the rear, but here it's in a letter in a letter BD. We need to be able to stop as well as we can go. That's the reason we have, we have got upgraded GT brakes for the rear that came with Corollas as well, so it was a direct fit. Uh, for the front, it's just exactly the same as it was. Then uh, for the rear, we have a custom uh, fiberglass slip as well, same as the front, and uh, tail lights. This slip is also a carbon fiber lip. These are just those generic ones, but it doesn't look so generic on this car, doesn't it? This is a mustard uh, yellow color. It's not, I don't think you'd ever see this color on these cars because it's not a factory option, but uh, it does stand out and that's what we are going for when we are choosing this color. For the exhaust, this is a 4.5 inch HKS uh, back box. It goes all the way around for the front. It's a straight pipe exhaust. Hakuna restrictions, Mali. So, Nikelele Kuruka. But it's the good time uh, kind of sound. When we move to the roof here, you'll notice that it has a sunroof. This car didn't come with a sunroof. It, as I mentioned, it was an SE saloon. But uh, this is actually a Nissan Murano sunroof. So we went ahead and cut the roof to fit this uh, sunroof in place. So it's a fully functioning uh, tilt plus uh, open sunroof. Yeah, so that is it for the uh, body. We can move to the engine. So if we start with the, the bonnet, you can see it's holding itself up. See my jabu, ni shocks. Uh, these ones are actually out, out of uh, a Toyota Mark II instead of your standard having that chuma po kidogo in a toma pizza. So we can uh, start with the engine. This is a 7A FE, a 1.8 litre, 1800 cc. Uh, this car originally came with a 5A FE, which is a 1500 cc, but we moved up a step, uh, have now a 7A FE with the long tube headers and as I mentioned, a straight pipe. We also have a custom stainless steel 3 inch uh, intake with a cold air uh, filter. You'll also notice that where the cold air filter is, is actually where the battery is supposed to be. But our battery is no longer here. So we also have a custom uh, strut bar here, done by one of our members as well. So this car was built with majorly the people around our group. So we have people like Tabo Spec Auto who sorted us out for mechanical and uh, also the strut bar, a member of our group. The stainless steel intake, also a member of our group. Uh, this interior was completely redone. It was done by Extreme Auto Interiors, located here in South Sea. He's also a member of our group. So we can start by uh, looking at the cluster. This is a, a GT clock that is off of a, a BZ Touring, a car that came with the, the 4AG blacktop engine. Uh, sourcing this uh, cluster was not easy, but we ended up getting it, finally. Uh, the dashboard was uh, replaced. We had to source these uh, from Dubai. Uh, getting them locally in good condition was quite a hassle. Uh, when we move on to the seats here, you can notice that uh, the seats have been restitched. These are actually a Starlet EP82 seats. So these were also completely redone by Extreme Auto Interiors, as well as the rear. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, we've got a Nissan Murano sunroof. The sunroof installation itself was done by Aves Customs, but uh, the roof liner, the headliner, this was done by Extreme Auto Interiors. Ignition on. Just a flick of a button and we can now look at the stars and the sun while we enjoy the drive. So this is the fully open function. We can close it up. and uh, you can also tilt it for just for a bit of ventilation. So, if you haven't joined the Corolla Nation yet, what are you waiting for? Come, be part of something extraordinary.
Whether you are an old school enthusiast or a modern day driver, the Corolla Nation welcomes you with open arms. Together, they drive the passion, leave the legacy and embrace the road ahead. Next week, we review different models of Toyota Corolla. It's a bye for now and happy holidays.